Duly noted, 5-30-2015. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here again with the amazing Anna Folkmer. Hi. Anna's my collaborator for Immaculate Dissection, yeah. along with Danny Quirk. We're here in London at our first European Immaculate Dissection, level one, right? Mm -hmm. Core concepts. And Miss Anna has been painted by the amazing Anna Quirk. You can see the internal abdominal bleed here, external abdominal bleed, but our main focus uh, today was gonna be to show you some things about the quadratus lumborum. So if you want, don't mind flipping around, a uh, quadratus lumborum is attached to the 12th rib, can go all the way up to the 12th transverse process, but it's anchored usually to L1 to L4. Uh, it comes down to attach the iliac lumbar ligament as well as the iliac crest. And this particular muscle is an amazing muscle because it acts as a lumbar stabilizer. Sometimes this muscle will get short, and if Anna can go into right lateral flexion and extension, you can see that fibers get quite short. And then as she goes into left lateral flexion and goes into full flexion, it gets long. So the muscle can hurt in either position. So if you find that someone kind of sits into their left side like that and becomes short, the way we would stretch that is to put it through its eccentric load. So Anna, can you put your right leg behind you? So for the stretch for the QL, we're going to have her bend to the right to shorten the muscle first to prevent it from spasming. She would then go to the left and then go into flexion. And we always want to make sure that we're palpating, um, kind of coming around to the erector spine and going deep to it. The erector spine, as you can see here, are more superficial, whereas the QL is going to be deep to that. So we can start at the transverse processes where I like to come is right here at the iliac crest and come upwards and in like that. So flex to the right, good, and then to the left for lateral flexion and then we're gonna flex it forward like that. And we can work that all the way up to the 12th rib. The QL is an important stabilization muscle of the lumbar spine, as well as a respiration muscle. It helps one to exhale. So as she breathes in, this muscle should actually come out towards us, and as she breathes out, it'll shorten back up here, which you can see there. Very important muscle for breathing, for lumbar stabilization. If you were trying to activate this muscle because the person is stuck into a stretch, then you would just have them bend to the right and go into extension. And that will shorten the muscle. So depending on if the person needs it short or needs it long, make sure the QL is nice and functioning on your client, and you can palpate it at the transverse processes as well as the lateral border deep to the erector spine anchor. If you'd like to learn more about how to palpate and how to assess these structures, you should probably come visit us. That's just a dish. That's Definitely. A, right? <laughs> That's like a taste of immaculate dissection. You don't even know it's coming. It's amazing. And hopefully you'll check immaculatedissection.com and come visit us and see the, the great Danny Cork at work. He's amazing. Watch him build all this anatomy from scratch right on Anna and myself and himself. And you can check the dates there. You can check Immaculate Dissection on our Facebook page. And if you're friends with me on Facebook, you'll probably see me post about Immaculate Dissection all the time. <laughs> if you're not already friends with Anna, please, please print her up. She would love it. As well as Danny Cork artwork. Hopefully we'll be seeing you as City soon. And until next time, duly noted.